Welcome on back, Cloud City, to another episode of Final Fantasy 16. Picking up where we left off, we have returned to the hideaway. We have a shit ton of side quests to do. So we are just going to keep on plucking away at those. Last uh, quest, we tackled Blacksmith Blues 3. I noticed there was a fourth one over here. So let's go ahead, start with that. Uh maybe where are you can i help you Sid? i'm looking for doris is she here well, i'm afraid not she's at martha's rest on a job my job actually when she heard what the mission was she insisted on going herself alone did she what was the mission following up on some new information once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment and about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Okay. Cole's see. right to be worried. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. 1550. All right. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway. The mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Prioritize the quest. Damn, dude, there's so much, there's so much green, so much green on the map. So Dravosht is still standing, for now at least. If you can swing a hammer, you... I just, I never thought I'd have to. Clive, you're here. And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan. How long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Is that your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me, 
the best blacksmith in Travost. Barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. I'm short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. You, uh, ready for the off, then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackthorn? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> What was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah? Damn. Big fella. Get down here, big fella. I'm not burned.
figured as much. I haven't even messed with shield and stuff yet. The fuck are you? Is that a, a griffin? The fuck? Get down here. Chihuahua. Is that it? Huh? Apparently not. Is that a Chimera? That's a fucking Chimera. Oh shit balls. Oh shit. The way 
it too early. Okay. Perfect. He's not fully staggered, but he's going to die all the same. Especially because he keeps staying in my tornado. Camera slain. Was that our first camera? I think so. Oh, the question is, did I miss any? Man alive! You're still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. <laughs> one <Yeah>. or two. <laughs> so you do know. More will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravos needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened, I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, 
was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy, even, but... Dravoged isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day, because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let him down. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw. Back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Mm. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravoged in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Hey, yo, what? A legend of Forge. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the Outer Isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. 
I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. Things crazy. Ragnarok. It's quite something. I uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Damn, 4,800 XP? Shit. Damn, 325? Got her dumb wrong. Got her dumb wrong recipe. Buddy, that is way better than this. 425. Trouble with your gear, or what's saying for you, dear? No scratches, all right. I can't see what I need to craft it though. Oh, right here. Oh, dark steel, primitive battle horn, or an orc. Or a uh, calm? Calcium? Oh, fuck, I don't know. That it? Fine. Okay, let's see. We completed that. Uh, I still can't go in, in and do that one. Okay, so let's go back to this. Um, it was where was it? Was in Rosaria. Whispering waters. Right there. It's actually fairly lengthy for that quest. 
black there that fourth blacksmith blues it, i mean it actually took up almost a full length of an episode be safe i don't even remember the last time i saved i was level 38 so two levels ago This is no ordinary marble. Carrot, rank B. I really need to do a bounty episode. It's a lot of money I could be getting. Ouch. Unless he fought one of these. Trust that. Ouch. Get down here. <laughs> he turned his head right over here and then got staggered. fella. Oh, 
Uh, I had 11 HP. I was trying to break break his guard through that, but turns out I can't. A lot of health. 10,000, 20 or no, 70 ability points, 2,000 XP, marble flower. Uh, that was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Sid, I, uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Is this uh, another health upgrade thing? It is just as I hoped. Witness. How the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Uh, what do we get from that? Necessary for further increasing consumable potency. Oh, nice. Consumable potency maximized. You have attained a vial of invigorated and Morgan beard extract, further increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore even more HP. Plus strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last even longer. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, we have a shit ton more to do. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't even fucked with Shiva stuff yet. Diamond dust, summon winter storm that freezes enemies in place. Ice age. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that too. Oh, but I really like that. I really like Bahamut, man. I really like Bahamut. Oh. Let's go here.
I mean, I guess I could. I see, that's what I need to do. I need to start, like, mastering these, like, smaller abilities. Because then I can use them with whatever... Whatever... Character, or, like, whatever uh, icon. Save them for now. Man, I just want to go one long ass I quest episode again. I guess we will. We'll do everything that we can. tackle these let's do this even weirder science there's like three spots we have to go and they're kind of all fucking all over the place I'm trying to see which one's closer by this one You won't help me here. Damn it. All right, come on. We're just going to run through. Time to fight. Talk about time to fight. We're good just like this. Probably should have went and got potions and stuff. What the fuck is that? No holding back. Oh, just a wife him. Whoa, hello, little fellow. We're not here for you, buddy. Tells me it's right behind you. I'll need to deal with these ones first. Ouch, Dick.
And it's right here. What you talking about? It's right, right the fuck there. This is it. Right then. Just two more to find. Okay, so there's that one. I will tackle this probably the next one. Self determination and there's another quest there. So then. one here run like the wind really need to head to uh, get some portions Okay, where am I going here, buddy? This way? Found it. Be safe. Hi guys, how are you? So if you double tap it, you leave like a little trap. That's cool. Two down, one to go. Okay, where's the last one? Duty and dying. Trading places too. Dude, Jesus, there's so much. Under new management. Okay, so it's right there. Oh, so yeah, probably just north reach. Oh uh, wait, merchant, merchant, merchant. Yeah, you. And what can I do for you? I need high potions. An excellent choice. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> really? There we go. Like, <laughs> really? Come on. I'm up, I'm past the gate. I feel like it's not this path. Is it not that path? It's not. It's this way. Uh, I'm gonna run past these guys. I just care about the group at the end. Don't get surrounded.
All right. Let's go. This is how I'm going to start every fight, because I just get rid of the weaklings. What the hell? My face shift. Ready, Torvald? Fetch! That's all of them. A wine can uncross his toes now. Okay, let's see what all we have after this. Ah, Sid! Wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? Good, thankfully. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! Mm -hmm. I'll fit into the smelter right away! Present to you the Telemon Furnace in bad is she? She's a beauty. You saved my bacon again, Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. What do you got? It's, it's fine, really. My bag's <laughs> uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. <laughs> Even more potions, buddy. Just Buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. <laughs> stretchy metal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but... That's our job, innit? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. Mm -hmm. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Even weirder science. 4800 XP, 50... 50 renown. Necessary for further increasing consumable inventory capacity. Inventory maximized. Six to eight on regular potions, four to five high potions, three to four on stone skin and strength tonics. With two Ds, upgrade consumable potency and inventory slots to their maximum. Oh yeah. Okay, so that is everything. Everything around the hideaway for now. But we still have more side quests to tackle. I mean, obviously, we still have the Tears of Mercy, but 
I'm not gonna be able to complete that until I progress the main scenario. So we're gonna put that one on hold. Um, but in the next one, we'll probably head on over here to Martha's Rest. There is the self determination, and then there is a what was it the rekindling the flame two. We have that there. Then we have trading places two here. Duty undying here. Lines in the sand there. And then under new management up there. So we still have at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more side quests that we have to do. So without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next one. And yeah, be prepared for a shit ton of side quests. <laughs>